Hi guys, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I am talking about the new one, not the old one or the original or the remake or the second remake. Technically, this is like a third remake, but actually this is a sequel, but I'll get into that. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because I am gonna uh, touch on spoilers. I felt like I've been reviewing a lot of films and I wanna just like spice things up and I figured most of you would have seen it by now. Uh, it's available on Netflix so I think all horror fans are gonna watch it no matter what so I just thought yeah I'm gonna talk spoilers because I do have some opinions but I'm also gonna do like a non-spoiler part like a spoiler free just in case some of you haven't seen it yet and don't wanna uh, be spoiled but I am gonna talk spoilers like in the second half of the video so yeah without further ado let's get to it so this new texas chainsaw massacre takes place 50 years after the original one this is a direct sequel um, and in this one leatherface uh, comes back to terrorize a group of kids after they disturb his life in a small town in Texas. That's basically it. The cast of the film include Sarah Yarkin, Elsie Fisher, Mark Burnham, and Jacob Baltimore, along with other, of course. There's a big group of people here, some not so important, but yeah, I think this is like the main cast. Post that, let's get to the fun part and just get to my thoughts. I think I need to start with saying that I am not attached to this franchise. It's not one that I love. I actually don't really like the first one. Um, this might be like an unpopular opinion, but I do prefer the 2003 remake. So I went into this one like curious, but not super hyped up because I'm not a huge fan of the franchise. I think I went into this one um, like I went into the new Scream, which are both franchises that I'm not a huge fan of. Although I am now a fan of Scream, I just rewatched the films and the new one made me like the franchise. So there's that. However, this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre did not make me like the franchise. I think they did a lot of bad choices with this one. Starting out with this being a super teen slasher. The original uh, and the remake um, Texas Chainsaw aren't really uh, teen slashers, like they do include teens uh, and they are slashers, but they have like a like raw feel and like a grunge feel to it, where this one feels like your typical teenager slasher. Um, a bit similar to that uh, new Netflix one, uh, There's Someone Inside Your House. I felt like they had like a similar vibe. And it also has a lot of Netflix vibe, like it looks like a Netflix movie, which in this case is not really a good thing. Then they also changed a lot of things when it comes to the original one uh, obviously as i said this is not a remake it's more of a sequel but they just changed things that um, like the main plot is pretty different uh, and like texas chainsaw 3d 
did something similar that they changed things up but I think that one was still more interesting than this one so I didn't like that they changed a lot of the plot they did keep some of the iconic scenes which is nice but there's no like nastiness when it comes to the cinematography what I did like about the 2003 remake is that it looked like like rust I guess like it looks uh, grungy and just nasty and this one just looks clean yeah it looks too well put together like it's it's a bit too pretty then i also felt like the characters were too young and kind of bland like there's no development and i didn't feel attached to any characters which is a problem here because i know when it comes to a slasher you just want to see gore and stuff but you do have to feel something towards like at least the protagonist so you feel like you don't want them to die but here i just felt nothing and i just i was just in for the kills like yeah i didn't care if they um stayed alive or not i mean towards the end i was kind of feeling it but generally yeah, there's no character development to make you feel something for them. Also, didn't really like Leatherface's motive for going after the kids. Um, I'll get into that when I get into spoilers. But I, yeah, it didn't, it felt too rushed and did make sense, but at the same time, not so much. So yeah, not a huge fan of that. I did like that this film is super, super gory. I think one of the goriest, if not the goriest of the franchise. And there's a huge body count here. So those are the positives. Now I'm gonna get into spoilers because there's a few things that I wanna touch on. So if you haven't seen the film yet, just skip ahead or just just leave now but if you want to know uh, what I rate what I scored the movie just yeah move towards the end so you don't hear any spoilers so again spoiler alert I'm gonna get into spoilers so as I said this is a literal sequel to the first one and I didn't like that they said it in present day. So as I said, it's 50 years after the original events. Uh, and it just felt odd. Like they incorporated Leatherface being in an orphanage uh, and him not killing throughout these 50 years, uh, which I don't know, it doesn't seem plausible to me. Also, yeah, I just didn't like that they made this one modern. There's a lot of incorporation uh, of Instagram and social media and all of that. And there's one particular scene where that's really uh, important. And I, I mean, I did like that scene. I'll get into that. But I didn't like that they used like the Instagram stuff and that they touched on some topics such as gun violence and cancel culture yeah they just touched on that and didn't like develop that stuff so yeah i i just wasn't a fan of setting it in modern day i thought i would but mm, no i think the worst thing about this film is that they brought back sally uh, and they brought her back just to kill her off it was yeah it was kind of pointless and as i said i'm not attached to the original film i'm not really a fan but i felt like there was no point in bringing her back just for that yeah i didn't like what they did with her character and i wasn't even a huge fan of her so yeah, I think that says a lot. Again, the highlight, I think, is that bus scene. That bus scene was 
definitely super terrifying and so gory and yeah that one felt like a horror movie everything else just meh wasn't a fan of so yeah i think that's it for spoilers and for my thoughts so let's move on to my scores so overall i give the film a two and a half out of five i don't think it's a awful film it's a small one like it's not a long film it's an hour and 20 23 minutes i think so you just pop it and watch it it's kind of fun but it doesn't feel like a Texas Chainsaw uh, movie. Yeah, it doesn't have the same feel and yeah, it's not great. It's just average. That bus scene does make it better, but that's just the only thing that I really, really enjoyed about the film was that scene. Everything else was just okay or actually bad. Cinematography, I give it a two out of five. I don't think the cinematography is that great and I don't think it matches the franchise, so there's that. And originality, I give it a two and a half out of five. Um, I think they did make it original with the things that they changed, however, that doesn't make it good. Yes, it's different, but I don't think it's good. Yeah, I don't think the changes are for the better. I think they make this one worse. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, these are my thoughts on the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm pretty sure you have seen it already. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you are a fan of the franchise. Which one is your favorite? Like, do you stand by the original or do you actually like one of the remakes? Um, yeah, let me know all your thoughts. Uh, if you want to talk spoilers, just say in the beginning. I know this is a spoiler video, but yeah, just in case. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!